Uh, welcome to the series of conversations where we talk to our bootcamp alumni and try to understand their journey and everything relevant and funny about themselves. So today we have Samson Surya with us, who's currently working as a consultant at Fractal. Hi, Samson. Hi. How's it going? It's going with our way. All good, Samson. All good. Just the re- just, just the routine things, right? So, uh, can you quickly introduce us uh, introduce us in terms of your education background, your hobbies, your passions, your job experiences, and everything relevant about yourself? Okay, so I did uh, B engineering in uh, KCT. Uh, like I, I'm basically an electronics and communication student. Like it may sound that like I'm from electronics background, but I'm doing an IT job. So that's <laughs> a basic stereotype that's everywhere. And uh, my hobbies are I, I like to play games, even though like like it feels like like uh, I'm I mean a, a job. I mean working <laughs> as per person, but still I love to play games at my free time. And I, I'm also into playing outdoor games as well. Like I, in my free time, I go play cricket and badminton, whatever I, I get the chance to play. So I, I got I got into Infosys through my college placement, and uh-huh. I worked there uh, for 27 months, I guess. Perfect. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's about my short bit. So uh, currently, you are working at Fractal, right? Yes. Like I think uh, you have made a tremendous transition in your career so how is that experience how's the culture what uh, what's happening with you in in terms of that so yeah actually i'm i i, I have at first like even if it may be uh, 6 months before if mm-hmm. someone had told me that like i would get would get to work in there i would i wouldn't <laughs> have believed even i was very you know uh, like uh, what is it uh, like amazed that like I got into that kind of a company because <laughs> like I don't have any particular experience in data science, right? So I generally thought that like there should be some kind of experience then only you can go into that company. I was thinking of I would get into some kind of startup, but I got into that company. So I was very happy that I got into that company. And okay. yeah, the company is so good. Like the culture is amazing. <laughs> I I'm I can't wait to join. I mean, work from office. Like I can't wait to oh. join the office. Like still, I am working from home. So I'm yet to, you know, see the full fractal culture. So I would like yeah, to see that. The pandemic just rigged that experience <laughs> for us, yeah. right? So uh, you worked at Infosys for around 27 months, am yes, I correct? Yes. So what was that experience like and what changed? Like what made you realize that you must be shifting to data science? Can you just elaborate on that? All right. So uh actually data science is not not something that like come mm-hmm. in, came into my mind like after i joined mm-hmm. work and all uh, like when i was in my second year of college mm-hmm. like there was this thing like you should do some internships in online or whatever the chance, whatever yes. you you can you just do it and it, because it's a long holiday mm-hmm. okay so at that time i got to know about this analytics Thing, okay. uh, from intern shala something like that's on uh-huh. so I did that course and when I came back to my college and I, when I told to my professor that I did kind of this course and it was like, like it was interesting and all mm-hmm. like they were they didn't know about it so and also during my college placements and all there weren't uh, data science companies where they they weren't coming in our to our colleges mm-hmm. because at that time I I think I think so that like at, at that particular period of time that that data science wasn't not in its uh, like I might, my, it yeah. might be a bit but uh, my juniors and like other my immediate juniors and also their juniors like they uh, like had the chance to uh, get into that kind of companies so my first preference was like I, I i i somehow i wanted to get into that company at first itself like even before infosys i want to get into a data science company uh-huh. but i couldn't but some kind of work experience is good right mm-hmm. so that's why i chose infosys the reason i chose infosys is because like the mm-hmm. training is good right like myso campus or oh, like it's a other yeah. world experience there <laughs> and uh, I, after completing after completing my training over there mm-hmm. i started looking for uh, data science training in online or whatever like offline I, I, I just started looking mm-hmm. I, I was doing I was studying while I was working there like mm-hmm. I start I started my learning journey from college itself but I take I taken it to the next notch like when I was 
working in infosys is very yeah, perfect so so uh, your transition story is something that's been cooking for a long time like, like you just you said second year second or third year of college yeah. itself right yeah. and you like it like the entire story before you made the jump cooked up, cooked up for what four years three to four years yes wow that's that's amazing and even the mysore campus story of yours fascinates me i'm from commerce background so okay ouch <laughs> but then anyway so uh i'm pretty sure uh what was that i'm pretty sure the transition must have must not have been smooth but before we jump into your transition story what was the exact point where you realized that my long term career should be in data science or data tech in general Uh, like I said, after I I learned that I mean my second year, like mm-hmm. I researched about this particular data science and everything. Okay. So in the like most of the posts and what like all the blogs, everything read that mm-hmm. data science will be will be the like coolest job or maybe the most sought after job in the twenty first century. I read that. Mm-hmm. So I and I, that's not the reason that I chose data science. but that working with data and all those bringing insights mm-hmm. that thing fast, like brought an interest for me mm-hmm. so that's why i wanted to join like mm-hmm. i wanted to be a like analyst or that kind of work i wanted to do so yeah perfect perfect so uh, you're coming from electronics background yes. and i'm pretty sure you uh, you won't say that you are way too proficient you were way too proficient in programming mm. uh, the mathematics and statistics required for sta- uh, data science right yes. so how challenging was it for you and what were your specific challenges that you faced while you know trying to learn data science on your own and trying to get a job and everything on your own so like uh basically engineering or every every i mean every engineering groups like they will have at least one coding subject mm-hmm. and uh, maybe maybe one subject of advanced coding and i had sure. that but like we weren't to focus on that particular area mm-hmm. like we uh, ours was particularly focused on electronics and everything like uh, our college like they wanted us to get into something related to our area of interest like that is electronics mm-hmm. but uh, the thing is like that there was also some kind of uh, like the pay is also not good like at the start of the electronics okay. and all it, it generally starts in the lower uh-huh. side and i was also not able to get into that particular area and also it's not my interest as well like mm-hmm. i said like when i got to know about data science i started learning coding myself like i started practicing online and everything yeah. so but that the thing you said about max and statistics right mm-hmm. that is the really i mean i'm still trying to learn math yeah, and statistics actually, yeah, actually i'm still really looking good. for courses over online mm-hmm. and uh, i'm still want to, because uh, this thing is uh, like maybe like we can tell is just data science as a simple word but there is a vast area yes, so absolutely. if you want to really go into the depth like you should really know math and part, like there is a particular two two three mm-hmm. subjects are like linear algebra calculus like probability yes. studies those yes. you should be like mm-hmm. very well versed then only you can really go about that otherwise yeah. you will be just a, mm-hmm. a like the person like who is working mm-hmm. like day to day work like kind of thing yeah i can relate to that actually like even when i was you know trying to make a transition especially from a commerce background i did face those struggles especially with you know the maths and the pre- basic python programming right <laughs> we all struggle with that now uh what happened while you were studying on yourself what made you feel like that you needed a particular program or a degree or something that could you know guide you better see uh yeah that's the, like that is also one of the challenges that i faced mm-hmm. like while self learning because i didn't know where to start mm-hmm. like like i read so many blogs like everyone said a different approach everyone mm-hmm. had their own approach and everything was different also yes. some would say that you should start with this programming then mm-hmm. you should go into the concept some would say that before learning machine learning you should learn the math and all mm-hmm. then you should go into the concept then programming and everything like sure. so there wasn't like a, a particular structure like uh, approach for that learning mm-hmm. data thing so that's why i thought okay maybe if we get uh, maybe if we study like a degree master's mm-hmm. degree 
or maybe if you join some kind of courses like that is online offline mm-hmm. so maybe they will they know that like these are the things that are expected in the company because they are in sure. that industry mm-hmm. so that's why i wanted i look i look the like look for this kind of you know learning opportunities and perfect perfect and how did you land uh, how did you decide to go forward with analytics with das bootcamp like with so many options over the internet and degrees from uh, prestigious universities yeah. how did you go uh, decide to move forward with analytics with them so uh, like like i was in infosys for 21 months right mm-hmm. so i was literally counting the counting my days over because i really wanted to get off, uh, get out of that particular uh-huh. job because i i it was not interesting for me and uh, i wanted to data science do data mm-hmm. science so before joining av i was you know looking for opportunities over abroad like okay. to get into some kind of masters degree okay. and maybe go over there and study and get transition into that particular area yes. and then one of my friend he told me about this av okay. and then we both actually did a research like we look for people who are like uh, 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 we were lucky that there was an another batch before us okay. so we got we got into contact with them and mm-hmm. they gave a really good feedback so that's the only yeah. reason okay let's try it like i still i have a you know idea of going for masters mm-hmm. but uh, this kind of started everything actually so i yep. uh, now i now that i got into industry i, I have this kind of industrial experience as well so yeah. that will really help if i go to masters and looking jobs over mm-hmm. there now that you uh, were getting back into a classroom setup a uh, study mode after almost what two and a half three year, uh, three yeah. years how challenging would you say that journey was getting into av's boot camp and then coping up with the rigor- rigorousness and the pressure pressure of the program actually like yeah like we really, i mean uh i uh, like after getting into work culture and everything still even in work also you will be learning something mm-hmm. but not in a classroom kind yes. of situation so uh, it was quite cha- challenging to you know get used to it mm-hmm. uh, but luckily <laughs> like i had the privilege of like i i got placed in the first or second uh-huh. month so i didn't have to go through the full course program of that classroom way. okay uh, but uh, yeah like it was kind of challenging because uh like we had assignments like we will have uh, doubt sessions that we have to attend after the mm-hmm. class in the evening so these things like kind of take taken back me to my college days actually yes. so i felt really felt like i was in my college again oh, okay uh, assignments deadline that kind of thing happen uh, but uh, mm-hmm. but because i did that i got placed early perfect perfect so throughout this uh, journey in boot camp how, what was your lowest point um lowest point means i i didn't reach that kind of a point in my mm-hmm. learning career like the but the only worry that i had was like how i am going to get into a data science company that's okay. the only thing that was going through my okay. because wherever okay. whatever like job post comes around like what uh-huh. wherever i see like if there is a data science <laughs> job opening is there yeah. they will ask for minimum of 3 to 5 years in that so yes. i was thinking how i am going to land in a data science job and all without mm-hmm. any experience so perfect, that's the only thing perfect perfect now uh, you got play, uh, you got a placement in fractal yes. right that's like that's a dream company for a lot of people right yes. so what went into the placement preparations how did our mentors the boot camp environment help you set uh set it up for you and what differences did you feel uh when you compare your placement days back in your college so back in college we had a general kind of training like we, there won't be any company specific trainings and mm-hmm. like okay this company is uh, coming is like we won't have anything like we won't discuss the questions that mm-hmm. are previously asked that, that kind of thing we won't do like we were doing general training general programming trainings mm-hmm. and everything but here what they did was they like where, like they there is there are so, so many uh, forums or blogs will be written right like yes. they would have shared their interview experience mm-hmm. and all they had this those everything and they uh, like had this mock interviews mm-hmm. and uh, they sent us the things to you know prepare before your interview so that 
you might not face mm-hmm. the struggle while doing the interview so that kind of help for me to uh, ace the fractal interview perfect perfect and like how was the how did the mentors impact your you know journey towards getting into fractal uh, yeah like they actually there was one complication while i was going for fractal mm-hmm. the thing is like i was in i was still in my notice period i in mean, for oh. this so fractal i wanted people who are immediate or immediately mm-hmm. available and i had around like on and off months of mm-hmm. you know uh, notice period still remaining and uh, they were also not able to leave me quickly because yes. i have also some kind of work over there mm-hmm. to finish so at that time i i thought that okay like literally i cleared everything every everything was done mm-hmm. even only hr interview was remaining Okay. and then they told me that like we want you to join immediately like by this month oh. and all. and then only i to- then only I-, i actually had told them i, I mm-hmm. actually had written in that form that mm-hmm. i have still one or two months of uh, notice period mm-hmm. but i don't know maybe they have missed it but Perfect. like there was some confusion on that but at that time they told me that you maybe you might not get selected and all then i felt okay th- and then the mentors really helped at that point like they were said like, talk to your company the, maybe talk to mm-hmm. them as well like they helped me a lot in lot of ways like even uh, i got into you know like some kind of uh, maybe that may be my lowest point mm-hmm. when i was in good okay. camp <laughs> so they really helped me to ca- come after that and then somehow we talked with uh, both the companies and uh, i got into it actually. Oh, okay perfect so the, like some uh, would, would you say that they went out of their way to yeah like just... they they call me mm-hmm. like uh whenever like they will ping me and ask me whether if i'm free because i was in work yes, right yes. so they will call me and they will talk to me for like half an hour or something they will tell me that don't worry mm-hmm. we will we will see will see some like maybe we'll make out this show sure, maybe they 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 can't be any situation that we can't overcome yes, right like yes. so don't worry like they told me that so that was really helpful yeah perfect perfect so now that you have made it from an electronics engineer and getting into infosys and then transitioning into your dream career a dream career of data science that you have been cooking up for a long time yeah. uh, that has been in the cooker for a long <laughs> <Yeah>. time <laughs> So uh, what advice would you give to b- the budding data scientists out there trying on their own So what I would say is like like uh, I like I was concerned that like uh, the, like the data data science role require mm-hmm. certain level of experience like yes. that thing now that like there are so many companies opening all over like the people they are hiring people like who are just fresh out of college yeah. like they don't require experience now mm-hmm. now they make like make those people like they give the job and they are getting experience like from the first hand mm-hmm. itself mm-hmm. so i would say that like if you really and i would really say that like data science is not an also like not an easy thing like like yeah. people will think that oh that is what i mean this is what the in the trend so mm-hmm. i will go there that like that shouldn't be the case okay. you should be have some kind of interest over that then only you can really be mm-hmm. able to enjoy the job also you can also clear the interviews as well like that will really help that Absolutely. so i would say that like please don't worry about it like you can't get into and all mm-hmm. you will have some kind of like there are opportunities opening everywhere mm-hmm. even now like the large it companies they are also they also started coming to this and mm-hmm. they also want a lot of engineers to come for data science work so they will also start hiring and like there will be more and more, more and more opportunities will be coming perfect samson surya perfect so yeah thank you so much for your time it was such a pleasure talking to you thank you it was a good interview <laughs> yeah